Hello, I'm Danny Walker. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, please subscribe and hit that notifications bell as well as follow me on social media at Danny Walker. This episode is a new update on what's happening at Miss America. Dear pageant friends, you've asked me about updates for what's happening with the Miss America organization and I have not planned to watch Miss America this year. I do not plan on following it or supporting this organization. Uh, if I do watch the actual show, I'll probably just catch it on YouTube, but as of now, no plans to watch it. But somebody did send me this. This is a repost from Betty Cantrell, a former Miss America, and she posted this from the page Pageant Junkies. So it says, here's the breakdown. Shortly after introductions, they'll announce the top 15 semifinalists. Then the top seven will compete as finalists, beginning with on-stage interview. After that, the top five will perform their talent. I'm also hearing there will be some judges' comments and interactions or critiques after each performance, like on American Idol or The Voice. <laughs> From there, the top three will get a chance to pitch their social impact pitch initiative, then the top two will have a final conversation with the judges before naming a new Miss America. Good luck, ladies. So that is what Betty Cantrell reposted. And then Cara Mund made this comment on her Instagram stories. It said, to the women competing this week, based on the new announcement, my heart breaks for you. Each of you has worked so hard to get where you are. You deserve the dream you envisioned. We love you, we support you. You deserve to be celebrated and recognized. You deserve better. Yes, you do, ladies, you certainly do. What I think is a really, really big issue with all of this, before we're even gonna get into all of this stuff, is that these contestants competed in different areas of competition at their local and state level pageants thinking that they were signing up for those same areas of competition and then the Miss America organization pulled a fast one and decided we're just going to change all these areas of competition for nationals. <laughs> That is so wrong. If you're gonna make crazy changes like this, first of all, don't. Second of all, do it at your local level first and your state level to test it out and see how it's gonna go instead of just throwing it on national television and absolutely shocking all of your contestants. These poor contestants that went and spent the money on the evening gowns. If you guys wanna see what my thoughts were about the evening gown competition, that whole thing, them taking that away and getting rid of swim, I have lots of episodes about that. So. I've Actually, just check out that most recent one about them getting rid of evening gown. I really don't see how this is going to be very entertaining. No offense by any means to the contestants and their level of talent, but in past years at the Miss America pageant, we have not seen the skill level that you will see on shows like American Idol or The Voice or America's Got Talent on the pageant stage in terms of talent. Making this shift towards a talent competition it isn't going to be that exciting. And making a shift towards a speaking competition also just not what people are tuning in for. And you know what? People aren't going to tune in for it. Personally, I'm not going to. I, like I said, and I am not the only one. So it's really, really sad. And I'm really curious just to find out what the ratings are going to be this year and what their plan of action is next, what iconic thing they want to take away from the Miss America organization and who in the world will even be competing anymore for this organization. This is all just so sad because it's just not what Mer this is all just so sad because this is not what Miss America was or is and it doesn't represent the young women who envision becoming Miss America and living out that dream. So this is really strange for me. I heard a lot of comments throughout the year about making Miss America more relevant and explaining what she does throughout the year. If you want to do that, do better at social media. If you're watching this episode on a mobile device, do me a favor, screenshot this, post it in an Instagram story, and tag me with your thoughts on these recent updates for Miss America. You know, the, the Miss America following is so much smaller than Miss USA or Miss Universe. Granted, I think that that has to do with the fact that Miss USA does go on to an international competition, so you're gonna pick up more fans that way. That does make sense. But still, I don't think they're doing the best possible job with managing Miss America's social media if they really want to show people what she does throughout the year. What is her job exactly? If it's not walking around in a swimsuit or an evening gown 
or whatever it is that that they want to say if it's not any of those things then show the public what that is through your live telecast uh, or show them through social media, which is the way that you can easily be reaching your ideal audience every single year. Instead of clarifying what Miss America's job is, I think that there's just a lot more confusion. I'm frankly really confused because in the past I thought of Miss America as this role model, a goodwill ambassador, a young woman that many other young women around her age want to be like, a figure who is admired by all ages, and I don't think that she's become that. She's really made herself irrelevant by not remaining modern and fresh, and frankly it's because Miss America herself stays youthful and stays within a certain age range, but the organizers over the years have just gotten older and older and older. And they used to be relevant and have fresh ideas when they were younger in the 1920s, 30s, 40s, 50s, uh, but now that we're in this more modern era, the reason Miss America has fallen back and fallen behind is because the leadership is not modern. And they're also not bringing in people who know how to make it that way, to make it relevant. There was a really, really great opportunity that Miss America had, I would say, in recent years, if we're actually talking about the positive effect that taking away the swimsuit competition could have. I think that a lot more people nowadays are more body positive and uh, more inclusive and those are all really great things and Miss America could have jumped on that train and I think people would have accepted it a lot more and they would have been like yeah like Miss America is so forward thinking when instead they just keep offending a bunch of people which is a real sad thing so we'll see Comment below if you are going to be tuning in to Miss America this year. I really want to know, and if so, why? And if no, why not? Thank you so much for tuning into this episode. I really appreciate it. I hope that you subscribe and hit that notifications bell. Share this episode with a friend. Give it a thumbs up. And come back for next week's episodes, as well as follow me on social media at Danny Walker. I hope to see you next time.